Hey everybody, I know, it's Mother's Day and I'm out digging. Uh, my wife had some crafts things that she was wanting to work on, so she uh, told me to go on. I already took care of the Mother's Day things with my, my mother. And uh, come out to a couple spots, but this is the first, time, uh, first thing I found today. Uh, green disc, not sure uh, what it is. It looks like it has some sort of eagle on it. And it says Republic Republica Americana. Uh, it's got some stuff on this side, but I haven't been able to make any of it out. I'll clean it up and show you and wrap up. Well, I hadn't found much more, but I just got a 56 cent clad spill. So, uh, gotta find, gotta dig clad. That's the way to dig it all at once. Get back to you at the next. Oh, Tulsa Pull Tab Finder. Looky what I spy. Huh. I don't think it's very old, bud. It's kind of an iridescent, uh, clear looking marble. Still a marble. I'll take it. Well, about, uh, about six inches down. Got a Oklahoma tax to token. Throw it in the bottle with the rest of them. Out uh, an afternoon or, or early evening hunt with G-Man Tuna Can and uh, on some old lots, empty lots in Tulsa. And uh, I got a rough sounding penny signal and uh, just pulled this out of the hole. And it does say sterling inside. A little stone in the front of it, but it is, I mean, tiny, tiny. That is the littlest, tiniest ring. I, I can't even get it over the end of my little finger. Uh, it's got a split here in the bottom of it. It is really old looking, and it is marked sterling. Which anything newer would be marked 925. So it, it's <laughs> not very much silver, but it's a, it's a little tiny piece of silver. Glad to have it. All right, let's wrap this up after, the, I think that was like three hunts. Um, about a little over a dollar in clad here, so I didn't dig much clad. A quarter dimes, a couple nickels, so I was digging some low tones. A uh, pile of zincs and coppers. I got two Oklahoma tax tokens, seven wheats, um, a 41, a 42, a 45, a 1934. I thought it was a 36, but after cleaning it off better, it's a 34. A 1918 and a 1913, and this one is uh, no date. It's got rust over the top of it there, and it's really corroded. Uh, some junk here, big steel ball, some gears out of a clock or something. Pretty cool marble, kind of iridescent but clear. Got some bubbles in it. Uh, fishing spoon, a uh, bullet. Of course, got to find bullets in Tulsa. Two hole button, aluminum. Um, here's my Jefferson, if I can get this to focus. Uh, this is a 1938S. And, you know, really good for condition for, for Doug coin. And it's still all sharp and everything. Uh, so that was kind of cool finds. First year of the Jeffersons, same they were in the San Francisco Mint, where that one was minted. They were also doing the Buffaloes at the same time. If I remember right, the Denver Mint was not making any. Uh, uh, they weren't making any Jeffersons or weren't making any Buffaloes. One or the other, but um, at the San Francisco Mint, they were making both. And this has actually got fairly low mintage. Uh, this was uh, a shocker. I, when I dug it, I think you saw the clip, I thought it said Republic Americana, but it actually says Republica Mexicana. Uh, so it's a Mexican, she called a Mexican large scent. It's a uh, Un Centavos, which you can see the TAV there. It says Un up here above it, you can't really see it. The back is pretty corroded. Um, but if you can see right there above my thumb, it says 1886. So this is officially my first uh, 
1800s coin. And I mean, I broke down in their ways into the 1800s. It's you don't find them this old in Oklahoma real often. I mean, they they're around, but uh, especially a a Mexican coin, it's a long ways from home. So, uh, real proud of it, and uh, keep that in my collection. And uh, as you saw in the clips, I got one little piece of silver, and this thing is tiny. I mean. You know, I don't. I don't think I've. I got a few little small children's rings, but I don't think I've ever found one this little. This thing is. Let's see. Here's a dime. In comparison, it's not a whole lot smaller than that dime. So, but it, you know, it's a piece of silver. It's a cool find. Uh, I used my loop and took a really close look at that stone in the middle. It's I think it was probably glass. It's uh looks kind of kind of busted up. It does say sterling as you can see right there. Anyway, uh, we've been getting rain, rain and more rain. Uh, it's pouring down raining outside right now, so uh, if it ever dries up, we'll get back out and do some more digging.